Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of April 14th, 2024. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful, sunny, and warm Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And before we talk about the next huge astrological event happening this week, let's take a moment to reflect on eclipse season. We're still officially in eclipse season for about another week, and the effects of eclipse season will be unfolding over the next few weeks. And this eclipse season was a biggie, lots of changes. For a lot of my clients, the shifts were obvious. One client found out she was moving out of the country. Another had six people leave where she works. One client's best friend broke up with her, and my son Tice is moving back to Mexico City. So these are obvious external changes, but we've also had a lot of internal shifts. So take some time to reflect on how you're different than you were less than a month ago on the spring equinox. After this dizzying eclipse season and a Mercury retrograde that's caused more confusion than clarity, we need some time to get our bearings before we move forward into our new era. And luckily this week, we get help with that when we move into the grounding energy of Taurus season on Friday the 19th. Also this week, the day after Taurus season starts, there's one of the most exciting transits of the year, a rare Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. This is another powerful event, bringing even more unexpected shifts. And it also brings a whole bunch of unexpected luck. So life is still shifting and intense, and we don't know what the hell is happening some of the time. And then Taurus season comes along to remind us just how wonderful life is. Taurus season is a time to be more present, mindful, and just enjoy life. That's because Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is the planet of relationships, values, beauty, art, and pleasure. Taurus adores luxury, harmony, and feeling good and it takes its time with just about everything. It refuses to be rushed. During Taurus season, we move slowly and steadily forward, which is a big shift from the pedal to the metal energy we've been in during Aries season. We are slowly adjusting to the changes the eclipse has brought. Since the spring equinox, we've been in it. It's been one thing after another. The equinox, lunar eclipse, Mercury retrograde, solar eclipse, and now the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. This is an intense time. So thank goodness for Taurus season to calm everything the fuck down and help us settle and get some clarity about what's important in our lives. So less than 24 hours after the sun moves into Taurus, two major planets, Jupiter and Uranus, will connect for the first time since 2011. This event's pretty rare. The last time the two met up in Taurus was 83 years ago in May 1941. So Saturday the 20th is the exact point they meet, but we've been feeling the effects of them meeting up from the middle of March and will continue to feel it until the middle of May. Jupiter is considered the luckiest, most fortunate, blessings bringing and growth supporting planet. Uranus, on the other hand, brings sudden turns of events, epiphanies, and creative and scientific genius. So when the two come together, we can expect major excitement and change and abundance. And because Jupiter and Uranus will be hooking up in Taurus, it amplifies the areas of life associated with Taurus and its ruler Venus. We're talking about an abundance of art, beauty, luxury, earning money, and relationships. The Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is a big moment for the world at large. Uranus is the planet of rebellion, uprisings, and revolution. And Jupiter makes everything it touches bigger. Jupiter-Uranus conjunctions are historically a time of big revolutions. It shakes things up. And since it's taking place in Taurus, an earth sign, it could literally make the earth move. And this is likely to show up as more earthquakes. So we'll see this transit on the macro level with revolutions, uprisings, and earthquakes, and we'll see similar changes in our own lives. It feels like we're on the edge of stepping into a whole new thrilling chapter of life. Jupiter is bringing abundance and expansion, and Uranus makes it sudden and exciting. 
So this is our chance to break free from what's holding us back. It's time to shake things up. So say yes to things out of your comfort zone. Accept the invitation you normally wouldn't. Go on the date with a person who isn't your type. And do the things you never thought you would do. This time is about breaking free of any self-imposed restrictions. This is our chance to stop playing small. So where are you playing small? This Jupiter-Uranus conjunction sets the tone for the next 14 years in terms of how we express ourselves. And because it's happening in Taurus, this is especially important with our finances and relationships. This starts a whole new 14-year chapter with our money and romance. So charge more, ask for a raise, expect to make more, save more, and live more abundantly. And expect some unexpected money showing up. So some affirmations for this time would be, I am open to receiving unexpected money. Or, I welcome unexpected financial abundance into my life. This conjunction is about the future and imagining how tomorrow could be better than today. It's a time to stretch our minds about what's possible. It's our chance to create a new reality for ourselves. And if we're talking about romance and unexpected events, this is a time when you could unexpectedly meet your person. And since we're still in that faded eclipse energy, we're talking about meeting your soulmate time. So go for the person that you think is out of your league. And if you're in a relationship already, this is the time to reimagine it at its highest vibration. It doesn't always have to be the way it is now. Change together for your highest relationship. Because Uranus is connected to electricity and Jupiter is amplifying that, we could feel some anxiety right now. There's electricity in the air and we feel that in our bodies. And Taurus is the way to calm it. Do anything earthy. Get outside. Work in the garden. Stand outside barefoot and ground. Hug a tree. Watch the sunrises and the sunsets this month. If you feel anxious or unsettled, just go outside and take some deep breaths. So to recap, there is still a lot of an intense energy. Taurus season helps us slow down and settle into our new lives. We get some time to just enjoy how wonderful it is to be alive. And the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction helps us stop playing small and to reimagine what's possible, especially with abundance and relationships. So think bigger. I'm not talking about a bigger home or a nicer car. Yeah, sure, those are nice. But I'm talking about thinking bigger when it comes to the important stuff. How can you have more joy in your life? How can you experience more inner peace? How can you have more faith and trust in the universe? How can you be more appreciative? How can you surrender and allow more abundance to flow into your life? How can you love more? We're talking about the things that really make your life bigger and better. And that is it for the week. This week, I celebrated 50,000 podcast downloads. And that's not counting YouTube where most of you listen. This is a really big deal for me. It's proof of what I believe is possible, that you can have a business and get paid for just being you. I can sit here in my flannel cowgirl pajamas with my coffee and report a podcast about energy and people besides my mom will actually listen. So thank you for listening and liking, subscribing and passing the podcast on to your friends. I'm going to the Montana State Spring Rodeo Finals this afternoon. So much fun. So have a great week, everyone, and I will talk to you again next week.